Welcome friends to a first look impressions video for a game that I actually just discovered today. Uh, it's called Planet of Heroes. It is a mobile uh, a mobile MOBA, uh, which is pretty cool. A multiplayer online battle arena. Now this game is actually developed and published by my.com, the same people that did that do like a lot's online and uh, Revelation Online, they're the ones publishing that over here. So this is actually pretty cool. I downloaded it, played some tutorial matches. There are a lot of things different with this game than like regular MOBAs and other, especially some other mobile MOBAs and stuff like Vainglory and things like that. Uh, there's a lot of cool things that this game has. Uh, I'll show you some of the interface options. I haven't been through everything. This is literally like a very raw first impressions for me. And I apologize that the quality isn't like absolutely amazing because I'm literally figuring out how to do this on my iPhone right now. Uh, there's a good amount of heroes though. There's about 11, I think. I've only got a couple of them unlocked. Uh, you play Duncan, this guy, in the uh, in the tutorial of the game. Now the reason why I'm doing this video, and I've never done something like this before, is I'm very, very impressed by the aesthetics of the game. Like, their character models are very crisp and very clean. Um, they've got some really cool skins for all the different heroes and all the different champions and stuff like that. Uh, let's see some of Duncan's skins. Like, look at this one. <laughs> like, that is pretty cool. And, like, his weapons re reminds me of some of the weapons that you see in, like, uh, Wildstar. Like, look at this guy. He's, he's looking pretty bad air right there. And then Magnum. This, is, this totally reminds me of Wildstar as well. Uh, his skins... Look at this Commando Magnum. That looks freaking baller. Astro Guard Magnum. Now each character has about three different abilities. Um, oh, four, I guess. Maybe I think a passive ability as well. So you got flame. Like for instance, for Magnum, we got flamethrower. The hero burns the earth in a cone directly ahead. Enemies within the burning area catch fire and take minor damage over time. Electro Net. The hero fires a net for, uh, net forwards. Dealing damage to enemies, which it uh, flies through and immobilizes the first enemy hero it hits for two seconds. And then Mordar, uh, Mordar, the hero launches three rockets that land one by one at the enemy hero current, uh, the enemy hero's current location, and deals medium area damage. And then the hero gains plus 30% base attack speed for two seconds after an enemy hero injured by the hero's ability. So you can have different builds that you can set up for each of the characters. You have uh, uh, different rune sets that you unlock as you level up your uh, your account. For instance, I've only got two right now. We've got Forest Rage. After killing a forest monster, the hero deals increased damage for seven seconds and then burn down basic attacks uh, against burning targets, still 15% more damage. And then little different equipments. Now, I don't know all about the stuff because this is literally a very rare first impressions. I don't really have anything I think I can switch around. I think you can just kind of augment uh, which ones you can power up by getting specific like equipment items that you can do, fight items in missions that you get throughout the game. Um, and you can obviously sort each of the heroes depending on the type of hero that they have. They've only got two support, some assault, uh, melee, uh, tank, and then all of them. So I don't have missions. You lock them at level four. I really have only played one game of this so far. Let's kind of look at some of the other stuff. Now, Sparks is kind of like just um, your basic tier abilities that you get in the game. For instance, the first one is the Spark of Life, which just gives your hero 15% increase of health uh, you can use real quick. And I think each of them have about a 60 second cooldown. This one's got 30, 45, 45 and 40 seconds. Um, so they're pretty cool. One thing I've noticed in this game is your character's health actually regens pretty quickly out of battle. I didn't see anything where you can automatically teleport back to base. That may change a little bit. And you know, it may be one of the sparks as well, somewhere in here, who knows. Um, but you can stay in combat fairly easily uh, we got a couple of quests that you earn. You gain record rewards and stuff. Like I just got a couple of like their basic, um, the, I don't know exactly what they're called. Uh, just like their basic um, currency and stuff in the game. You've also got the shop right here. And obviously all the heroes are brand new. Um, they've got, and then the purple crystals, I don't know exactly what they're called, but that's their premium currency. Um, you got different skins and stuff. Each of the heroes you can unlock with their premium currency as well. Now, I don't know if you can actually unlock any of the premium currency just by playing the game. But you can definitely unlock the heroes by playing the game as well. Now, they give you two free ones right off the bat. Actually, three free ones right off the bat. But I'm actually really excited to see uh, some of these heroes. Because, like, I'm, the thing that really, really impresses me is how clean the characters look. Like, 
The fact that a mobile game, a MOBA can look this clean. Now I'm not saying the other ones look bad. I'm just, I'm very impressed by their animations and how this game plays. Now let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, my name is Guest351401. I think I kind of missed the part where you can actually um, select friends to play with you. I don't know exactly how long it's going to take to find a match. It was pretty quick for me uh, earlier before, but maybe we can check out some of our login bonuses that we get. You get one every single day, uh, which is pretty amazing. And there we go. We've already found six players to join. It was actually very fast the first time I played. I'm going to go ahead and actually pick if it'll let me. I, it looks like my teammate already picked him. Okay. I'll pick this guy because I actually know how to play with this guy. We'll go ahead and hit ready. I don't have any rune sets, so I'm not going to really change anything up like that. And I don't have any of these things unlocked, so we'll just go ahead and hit ready as well. We've got three guests playing. Um against hopefully a team now the performance of the game even though it just released i believe today uh has been fairly good uh hopefully everything records good <laughs> for this video but i'm honestly everything about this game is, is quite impressive now here's the interface the interface is slick and smooth Millions but, uh, have spawned. movement is a little bit laggy i'm kind of like you can t kind of tell that my character is not moving very well I don't know. I think it's because I got a high ping. Uh, my wife is, is currently watching Netflix. So uh, you've got one single lane on the top and you got a jungle below. Now, each of these towers that you have has a health pack that you can pick up, uh, including the enemy teams. You can actually pick up the enemy team's health pack as well if you want to. Now, I don't know how well this game is going to go because because um, honestly, <laughs> come on, come on. Kill, 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 kill. Oh, my gosh. No. Oh, my heck. Dang it, there's, there's a lot of lag in the game already. Executed. And it, it's totally my bad. If I, I need better ping, uh, that's what's going to kill me in this game. But to be honest, I don't really care if I die or not. I'm, I'm mainly just showing you guys the gameplay and hopefully show you how impressive it is. They're all very, very fast too. Oh, snap. Towers do a lot of damage. You I got a kill. An enemy. I don't know every. I don't know all of the uh, different characters' abilities, so I'm a little worried. That person's dead. That was kind of stupid. <laughs> oh, but man, this high ping is literally gonna kill me. I can already tell like how bad this is kind of working. Let's kind of show you guys the jungle. Now everything dies fairly quickly. Um, I haven't had a chance to explore the jungle too in depth, but maybe I'll run through real quick to show you guys all the different stuff. You got basic minions and you got these defensive shields. I don't think the enemies can actually run through these, um, but I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not like positive on that. An ally has been slain. It's a fairly small jungle. And then obviously you've got the big boss down here that gives your team a big bonus. But it's it's fairly impressive. Um, I don't know how many maps they have. As far as I can tell, they've only got one. Now you have these bonuses that pop up here. This will give me increased damage. So I can I can get in there. Our turret has been destroyed. Uh, try to escape. Grab a health buff. I'm, I'm fairly certain we're going to die. An ally has been slain. I can get the kill. I can get the kill. I can get the kill. Oh my god. Oh, and I died. Oh man, it's. I'm struggling with the you controls already on this slain. game. There's a, there's a lot of lag Arcon. behind it. And we our lost an Archon. Our turret died. Destroyed. Not our Archon, our turret. I'm sorry. But the game, the matches are very fast. Like, ridiculously fast. Like, things die fairly quickly. Uh, I, can, I also noticed there doesn't seem to be a type of leveling up system. You might auto-level up every time you do. And I don't see any items as well. I haven't seen any options for it. Get four minions that summon. An ally has 
slain. Get out of there. Come on, come on. You have slain an enemy. Nice. And I messed that up. Okay. You have Level slain up. An enemy. Up on the top, you can see uh, the respawn rates for each of the enemies as well as your own team. We are level seven. It looks like your team levels up similar to uh, how Heroes of the Storm does it. So you gotta work together as a team. Now they're gonna level up. They've been leveling up a lot faster than we have because obviously they've killed more things than we have. Uh, two of our towers. And I'm dead right here if I don't get out of there. Ooh, that was a close one. And our teammate. Okay, awesome. An enemy has been slain. Oh man, there's so much lag right now. Come on, die, you fool! Dang it, I wasted an ability on a minion. Ooh, I got out of there just in time. But as you can see, there's uh, there's no way for me to teleport back as far as I can tell. My character will heal up pretty quick. I'm pretty sure if I go back to base, he'll heal up rapidly. Yep, get a speed bonus as well. Now, I can't complain too much on the performance of the game. Um, it's running really good, but I think mainly most of the lag is on my side. An enemy has been slain. Come on, come on. An ally Dang it. Has been slain. Sorry, bro. I tried to get in there as soon as I possibly could. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get there. I'm not going to get her. No, no, no. Get out of there. Get out of there. Gosh, come on. I'm struggling. Jump down and grab this ability over here. Maybe I'll do some quick jungling, see if I can get some experience points for my team. Okay, now let's get out of here. I, I There's no way I can take down the boss right now. Has Enemy slain. has been slain, awesome. Maybe I can tower dive. <laughs> Give that a shot. Now, I don't know if there's any ultimate abilities. There possibly could be as soon as we hit level 10. Um, in the tutorial, and you don't hit level 10. It's just too quick. Come on. Die. Nice. And damage boost from this guy. I didn't see that I got any uh, experience points from doing that. So maybe you only get bonuses and stuff, like uh, temporary buffs to your character. Oh, shoot. They're attacking our uh, main base. An enemy has been slain. I actually kind of want them to destroy our base already. And we An kill them. Awesome, we got two of the enemies killed. We can rush them. Let's see if we can't take down their first tower. Now the game's obviously not per- Oh shoot, why did I do that? The game's obviously not perfect. I kind of wish there was some kind of leveling up system. Um, there's not. Like where you can like decide where your bonuses go to. I think the rune system's gonna be more of your customization. Uh, nice. Double kill for our teammate. Awesome. And we can take out this next. Oh my gosh, if we win, guys, this will be amazing. Enemy turret has been destroyed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got this. We got this. Enemy has been nice. Nice. The hype is real. The hype is real. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. An enemy has been slain. Oh, shoot. Get out of there. Okay. And we got the win. There it is. That is the win. That is what I'm talking about. Guys, this is Planet of Heroes. It's currently on iOS. I'm not sure if it's on Android. But if you guys are impressed, because honestly, I'm pretty impressed by this game. I got four kills, two deaths, seven assists. Uh, pretty amazing. Every time you uh, play games, you get rewards and stuff. There you go. And there's the different rewards. You can subscribe to get more rewards. And I leveled up. I unlocked Spark of Smite and a couple more of their currency. 
Perfect. Do I want to send a, uh, <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, do I want to connect? You'll get some bonuses. That's okay. Guys, this is Planet of Heroes. This is just a small uh, MOBA on the iOS and Android, hopefully. I, I'm not sure about the Android. Don't quote me on that. But I'm actually just really, really impressed by this game. It, it, it's a lot of fun. Uh, despite the lag that I was having right now, I've got a lot of stuff running in the house. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more online gaming videos. Okay, guys, I'll see you later.